What up, Starseeds? My name is Delilah. Welcome to Starseed Direct, okay? We're on a field trip today because I am shucking and driving, okay? Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I'm here in Collective. It's time to uh, do some sleight of hand, okay? Whatever that means. I don't know. You know what time it is. That's a message for somebody. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get a quick message in. I'm currently taking care of some business okay so i'm on the run okay not literally because i don't do illegal things but someone may be doing something illegal collective either physically or spiritually we're gonna see what comes out thank you so much for your support every like share subscribe and comment helps grow the brand and the channel and support the collective mission of raising earth's vibration and being stewards of light thank you so much all right, let's go ahead and get into the message. Mm. Collective, you may have been on a nonstop mission to heal a particular person, but you may be coming to the realization today that you cannot heal this person. This person has chosen their darkness. They're not leaving the darkness. They embrace the darkness. Darkness is all they know, okay? Save your energy for someone who's going to actually appreciate it, okay? Mm. You could be dealing with a cancer. Whoever this cancer is, they fantasize about you often, collective, all right? They may not express this to other people, but they do a whole lot, okay? I'm also getting um, an excess excessive use of lotion. Gross, dude, okay? Low-key wants you badly, okay? For that to come out, they may be, um, let's just put it this way. They're definitely... <laughs> doing some extracurricular activities okay the reality of the situation is they regret doing you dirty okay <laughs> and i'm also hearing that if they were in fact jerking off or masturbating or whatever they were doing they were caught in the act dude whoa <laughs> oh shit i don't know who this is about Mm. they want you to stay quiet though they want you to stay quiet about this connection with them and i'm not really sure why we're gonna clarify that mm. they have sexual addictions most definitely and something in regards to a sex slave initiation okay they may want to initiate you or involve you in some kind of like pimp or madam plot or scheme they got going on behind the scenes to make some extra money i don't know dude sounds disgusting all right this person may have also recently got incarcerated or they're about to be incarcerated for some other shit that they got going on black mamba forever that's right sorry y'all you know i gotta show respects to the great to the great and only kobe bryant okay may he rest in power a side tangent okay this person could actually be from la or live in la mm. we also have drug mule coming back up okay so this person may be getting incarcerated in regards to some kind of drug situation i don't know if they sell drugs they move drugs they push drugs or they do drugs maybe all of the above okay mm. i'm hearing Whoever the karmic was in that situation didn't want to get involved, so they just left the shit on the counter instead of flushing it. I'm also hearing plies all of the above. Yeah, whoever that bitch was, she wasn't all of the above. She wasn't none of the above. She might have even been the person that called the cops on them. Business or pleasure, maybe both, okay? I'm also hearing that um, maybe this person mule drugs with them, okay? But when it came down to it, they wasn't trying to be involved, all right? They got hemmed up for whatever reason. And I'm hearing mm, whoever they were working with, the feminine energy, it could have been a prostitute. I don't know whoever this woman is. It could have been a stripper, too. It's someone of the sex industry, porn star, something, uh, OnlyFans model, I don't know. But whoever it is, they were involved in this drug plot, but they end up trying to get um, some kind of lenience in court by snitching on this cancer individual. Dude, that's so fucked up. 
that's why you don't know who you trust who you could trust ultimately if you're the cancer or you're a cross watcher or you know someone with this story you're dealing with bottom feeders if you're wondering why the fuck that happened to you okay you're thinking these people are real for you down for you or a part of the team but the reality is is every man or woman for their self that shit is wild okay mm. I'm hearing, is it a square or a circle? Interesting. Okay? You may be coming to the realization that the only reason that this karmic female was around or male was because they wanted the money. They liked the lifestyle. They liked to it partake in your drugs, possibly. They liked the, the sexual addictions. They partake in it. This person was probably really, really freaky. Okay? But it was induced by the drug habits or the addictions. Okay? You could also be spying on each other as well. You and this karmic are spying on each other right now. Mm. Spirit has a message for you, though. You ready? Let's find out what it is. Mm. The message is from spirit. The tree of life cannot be unrooted. Okay, so I don't know if you were trying to cut someone off that is a part of your soul tribe or spiritually connected to you maybe you're trying to get over this obsession with this divine one or whoever this is a part of the collective because i called on collective energy so i would imagine someone of the true collective wouldn't be doing any of this so this is probably a reading on the cross watcher or a karmic energy that is obsessed with a divine being okay this divine being if you're wondering why you can't let go of them is because somehow you're tied to them okay or this divine being derives from the tree of life and it's a branch that can't be cut because the roots run deep okay mm. yeah this person derives that energy because of their vow of celibacy that they're currently on okay or you could be celibate which is why you're doing a whole lot of uh hand play whatever that means okay mm. any other messages holy spirit any other messages Something may have came out in regards to some kind of pedophilia shit going on, okay? Now, I don't know if this karmic energy you're with is underage or what. They may not be of age. They may not be of age. Or maybe they have intel in regards to you doing something with underage people, okay? And you don't want that shit to come out, all right? Maybe this person is a YouTube creator. Wow, dude. You tried to harm this feminine energy for money. Someone possibly paid you to do it. Or maybe you just wanted what this person had, okay? Mm. Maybe you tried to harm this uh, feminine energy, who's a YouTube creator, for money because you wanted to then traffic their kids and make money off of that. You people really need to quit that shit because it's not going to work, all right? Just dead that shit. And just, just a blanket PSA, not saying this is my story, but if you're a divine being like me, we ride for hours. Let somebody try to come up and run up on me and my children. You will get stuck with the quickness. And that's not a threat, that's a promise, all right? If you want to keep your dome, stay the fuck away from me and my kids. I'm not even playing. Duck and low vibes unless you want this 300, nigga. I'm not even playing, all right? Mm. this person is using fake profiles to troll you okay they may be stalking your social media stalking your youtube channel stalking whatever content you're creating to keep eyes on you tabs on you whatever they fucking can because ultimately their life is going to shambles they may also be in jail they may have a phone in jail or they may be soon finding out that they're going to be in jail for a long ass fucking time all right mm. Collective, what spirit is saying is don't lower your vibration. That's what they want, okay? Keep focused on what you got to do. And ultimately, spirit wants you to know that you made the right choice to protect yourself, to protect your children. And if anyone tries to guilt you or fault you or make you think that you are not on the right path, you don't even need to, don't even bat a freaking eyelash at it, okay? Can't no one take your place. And maybe these karmics are coming to that realization now. In regards to this cancer or the karmic or whoever else is involved, they're facing five to ten years, all right, for whatever whatever stuck. That's not even counting. Clear, audiently, I'm hearing 
once the case gets underway and they um people start snitching while this person's incarcerated some other shit is going to be found out and more years are going to be added to this sentence they not getting away with none of this shit that they did uh-uh you want to meditate on 432 hertz today in regards to powerful communication coming in. Whatever doubts that you had in regards to a situation, I'm hearing clear audiently, you are divinely guided and protected, both in the spiritual and the physical, okay? People, show appreciation to your local police and authorities, okay? They're, not every cop is bad. Not every cop is bad. And I personally would like to take a moment to thank my local county sheriff for riding for a sister. A single mom with a dream and a mission that I'm not ever gonna stop. So if the karmics are watching, you wasting your time. Love and light.